What is a pointer? A pointer, in short, is just an address to a location in the computer's memory. There's really not much more to it than that. To really understand what that means, though, you have to understand a little bit about what memory looks like inside of a computer. So typically, a computer or an embedded device has all of its memory strung together in one long string of bytes. And each of these bytes has a numerical value associated with it, starting at zero and going all the way up to the total amount of bytes available for that machine, which could be well into the billions, or in other words, many gigabytes. For our example, we're going to say we have a computer that has only four blocks of memory, zero, one, two, and three. And those will be our addresses here pic pictured in red, zero, one, two, and three. When you create a variable, the computer is going to take the value of that variable and store it somewhere in its memory. Where it, exactly where it stores it depends on what the computer is doing at that time and what memory it has available to it. So we're going to say our computer is storing our value of 28 at memory location 3. With that, we can say that value, the value of age is 28, but the address or the pointer to age has a value of 3. And that's, that's all a pointer is. It's where in the computer's memory that this variable lies. So usually in C code, C++, C, normally what you want to do with a pointer is one of three main things. You want to get the address of a variable you created. You want to store information inside of a, a memory location, or you want to retrieve information from a memory. So in this case, we have 28 is inside of a box, and the, the location of that box is at memory location 3. Sometimes you want to go to the address of 3 and get something out of the box or put something into the box. And that's what we're going to show. That's what we're going to go over right now in code. So I've already created here in this program, and I'll make this available. There'll be a link to it in the description. That I've already created the integer age variable and I've set it equal to 28. So then I print that to the console on line 12. Next what we're going to do is we're going to get the address of that variable we just created and we're going to store it inside of a pointer variable. So the syntax for that is as follows on line 25. We first start with int to signify that this is going to be a pointer to an integer. Then we use this asterisk to signify that this is a pointer, not a regular variable. If we were to remove this asterisk, this would now be an int. So this asterisk means that it's a pointer. Then we give it a name, pointer to age, and then we set it equal to age with the ampersand in front of it. So when you put the ampersand in front of a variable, that gives you the variable's address as opposed to its value. So no ampersand is the value, ampersand, is the address and that's what we're doing so what we've done is we've taken the address of age and we've stored it inside of pointer to age the next line we're going to print that address and then we'll see on the console what that looks like it's going to be some huge number this next line what's happening is we're opening the box or in other words we're going to the address of pointer to age opening that box taking the value out of that, and then we're storing it inside of the variable years. And the syntax to open up a box or at the address is this asterisk. So if you have a pointer and you put an asterisk in front of it, what you're doing is you're going to that address and you're opening up the box to see what's inside of it. In this case, we know what's inside of it. We know it's 28 because that's what we set age equal to. And then we set pointer to age as the address of age. This might sound kind of confusing, uh, the terminology here. Um, but we're pointing to age now. Age is equal to 28. We're pointing to 28. And then we go to that memory location. We open up the box. We find a 28 inside of it. And then we store it inside of years, which is a new variable we just created. So now when we do printf years, we expect years to equal to 28 because we opened up the box 
that had 28 inside of it, and then we stored that value inside of years. So again, asterisk to open up the box of a point. The final, the final important line of code here, line 49, again, asterisk is to open up the box. So we're opening up the box at point of the age, and this time we're storing 29 inside of it. So initially, we set it to 28. Now we're opening the box with the asterisk and we're storing 29 inside of it. So we expect age to now equal 29. It shouldn't equal 28 anymore because we've opened the age box and we've put another number in there. So when we print this, age has been updated. We expect to see 29. And I'll run that code. I've already run it and you can see it here. Um, so there's really no need of me running it again. These are the results. Age is equal to 28 because that's what we initially set it to. Then we set the memory address. Uh, this is the memory address that we printed out when we, when we executed line 25 and 28. Then years, we opened up the box on line 38. We opened up the box at this, mem at this long memory location. This is a huge number. We opened up the box at this location and we found a 28 inside of it. And then we took that 28 and we stored it inside of the years variable and then printed years. The next thing we did is we opened this box again and, and there's a 28 inside of it still, but in this, in this case, we put a 29 in it. So now there's no longer 28 inside of it. We put 29 inside of it. And then we printed, we printed the age variable again after having changed its contents. And now it says age has been updated to 29. So that's what our code did. This will all be available. I hope that made sense. If not, comment down in this and uh, comment your questions. I'll get back to them. Uh, shoot me a, a PM. Uh, but that's pretty much how pointers work. Uh, they're very useful in, in C programming and I'll be following up with more videos on how they're used and why you would wanna use a pointer and not just regular variables.